happy Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl, Maria Milagros. During the month of August, uh, we have been talking about change. We've been talking about changing our perception and our perspective about what change is so that we can make it something that just feels like growth and it feels like a natural part of life and it feels like something that we're willing to embrace and that we're willing to participate in. And it doesn't have to be a struggle because like I said in the previous videos, change is not something that is a part of life. Change is life. Every single area of your life and every person that you know will change and evolve. That is true. There are some constants, sure, but there will be change eventually because that is life and we grow and we evolve. We figure out who we are, what we like, what we don't like throughout change. So this week, the focus is really simple. Ah, the concept of the focus is simple, but the actual work that will be required will just take a little more effort and a lot more awareness. So what I'm presenting to you this week is the concept of ridiculous, super sparkly honesty. I'm talking about the kind of honesty where you mean what you say, you say what you mean, but you're not mean about it. Because if you're mean about it, that's not very super sparkly. Now, I myself can tell you that I have always had honesty be one of my top core values as a person in, in the work that I do. And there was a time, and still sometimes, if I'm being totally honest, that um, but there was a time where my honesty was very blatant, sometimes rude, sometimes abrupt, sometimes it would steamroller people over. But I was like, it's cool because I'm being honest. But it wasn't because if your honesty isn't delivered well, it isn't delivered with love and gratitude, then it isn't being received well. So I had to learn that lesson and I am much better now at softening my honesty. And I'm not saying I'm sugarcoating anything. I'm very honest, but I don't need to be so like raw about it, right? So it, that's not super sparkly. So I want to be super sparkly even in my honesty. Um, in particular, what I'm, I'm talking about when I talk about ridiculous super sparkly honesty is being honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself as to who you are, who you want to be where you are, where you want to be, what you want from your life, and then how you feel about it all. Because until we are truly honest with ourselves and we're constantly in the awareness of, is this me being honest with myself? Is this me being honest with another person? When Until we're able to get there, we're going to constantly have that tug and pull. And then when something changes, it becomes upsetting because we weren't participating in it. And one of the easiest, and I say easy with practice, but one of the best ways and the most significant way that you can change the course of your life is by changing your level of honesty with yourself and with other people. Um, when something happens, rather than like, oh, I'll just wait to the right time because the right time may never happen, be honest. Just rip the bandit off and be about the conversations and have it, have it out. Not out like fighting, but get it out of you rather than carrying around that burden. When we practice and we're better at being honest with ourselves and other people, um, life gets easier. It really does because the more you practice it, the easier it gets to just kind of reside in that space and then the easier it gets just to be about saying it or following through or whatever so that you don't have to carry around the weight of this additional thing, if that makes sense. So that's what I have for you this week. I wanna challenge you to be ridiculously super sparkly honest with yourself. I'll give you this quick example. I took my daughter um, shopping for a backpack and she had a couple of options that she liked and then one of them she put it on and she said, mom, my, my question is, am I getting this backpack because I really like it or am I getting this backpack to get the approval of someone else? Oh, that is so profound. And if more people would constantly be in that place of awareness and kind of challenge Am I doing this for me? Is this bringing me peace? Am I doing this for me? Am I doing this because this brings me peace? Am I doing this because this is fun for me? Am I doing this because I enjoy this? Am I doing this because I want to participate in this? Or am I doing this to appease other people, right? And then there's nothing wrong with that either. If you are doing it to appease other people, as long as you're in the awareness of it, then when you decide to do it, be all in, like fully participate, jump into that thing, right? Like there was a party that I did not want to go to and my whole family was going to be there. Well, not my whole family, 
but some of the people in my family and some of my friends and they were like Marie come 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 fine so I went and then I decided if I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and I'm gonna like go and I'm gonna have so much fun while I'm there and I did and guess what I had so much fun while I was there so we just have to kind of check in with ourselves be really honest who am I doing this for why am I doing this and then if I decide to do this I get to decide to be fully all in I get to just dive on in and I say all of this with love because my goal in all of these videos is to help you change your perception change the way you see things change the way you see yourself change the way you see the world because it can be and it is actually really wonderful and you're amazing and extraordinary and brilliant and smart and capable and you deserve a life that matches that right because that that super sparkly everything uh, so that's it. If you enjoyed this and if you got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who can benefit from it, please share it. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. I want to build a following so that I can provide more and more of this kind of stuff for free to all of you wonderful people and give you life coaching for free and not like sessions, but like this. <laughs> and give, you know, I just want, I want to be able to build this community and build a community of people who are willing to change their perception and willing to take responsibility for their lives and to live the super sparkly everything kind of life. Uh, so that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your week and a fantastic super sparkly weekend.